Well, hello there, humans, hippies, earthlings, whoever you are, wherever you are, whatever you're doing, and whoever you're lucky enough indeed to be doing it to. Welcome back to the channel. Uh, I'm Bushkin. Today I'm going to be showing you two very, very cool videos from two very, very different tanks. Uh, the first is the RU251 here. You can see uh, pumping and thumping on the low side of the ruins, the, uh, the Mayan ruins. And the other is an IS-7, a T-Rex. Uh, and straight away, you're going to see why I love this game, because this is so often the case. When you are driving a light tank and you're trying to do the right thing, spot for the team, stay somewhere near the front, and people just love pushing lights. And that's exactly what's going to happen to And I'm Gone, our protagonist in the first part of this two-pronged Shakespearean attack. Uh, he just gets absolutely yolloed by this uh, Pantera uh, Dimebag Daryl's tank. And it is, it is brutal because he ends up in a really, really rough spot, hit points-wise. But he makes some great decisions. And the real thing I love about this video is not that he calls the guy a noob because I'm not into that. That's not cool. It's this section of play here. I really, I watched it and I thought, hey, I love this. He makes two great decisions here. One, he's popping HE and he's going to smash that bulldog, right? And he does. And he, he focuses the bulldog, which is the target that can be cleared quickest from out in front of that IS-5. And then he makes this decision, which is bypass the IS-5. It's a tough world. But here it is, like, he could stay there and try and help the IS-5. Um, and yet, he goes to the tank that has a nearly half hit point, oh, well, over half hit point Tiger in front of it. So that there is a chance that the Tiger is going to be up long enough to actually help him clear and DPM out that IS-2SH. That little spot there is actually clever play. That is, um, that is really, really good. Uh, game sense. A really, really good passage of just taking a really crappy situation, like a hit point pool that is almost non-existent, and turning it into damage. Like, look at the damage he's done. He's at nearly 3k. He's just done a drive-by on the VK 100A1P. He knows that that VK is just fired, so that he was safe to go back out and try and get another one. But he doesn't try and bite off more than he could chew. And he leaves just as well he does because as he's leaving, up pops a TD from the other side. And he's off to the races, circling to get shots on the VK and runs into this grub here and has to do some really fancy footwork using exceptionally... Oh, that miss. That miss. And here comes a TD. Got to keep this. Look at this. Straight into the Panther. This is great driving. Like You get lucky on these things. But this is really good driving. He is absolutely using everything at his disposal to stay alive and put the damage out. It's not the biggest RU251 game I've ever seen, but it's a really good game driven in the tight. So many of these games are driven at extreme ranges. Like, lots of damage, but lots of damage at 200 meters while farming off teammates and things. This was done on the heavy route. All... Well, the majority of the damage, apart from the Pantera, it was all done on the heavy route. Up top, 4K, just doing the hard yards. Great game. Really good game. And I'm done. A um, little bit of a sassy Ralph, but still, I loved the effort. And actually, a very well-deserved mastery there as well. Now, we're moving onwards to the 935 group. I don't know what that stands for, but I probably should. Uh, on the North 40 of Port Bay. And this is a lovely IS-7 game, but it's, it's again, I, I just wanted to showcase this because this is a little bit different to the norm. Uh, sure, IS-7, front of house, big ugly tank, does a lot of bad things to good people, but he was pushing across the river there, didn't get spotted, and pulled right back after seeing how many red tanks got spotted in the middle. And he is literally the tip of the spear. You can see there's an arrowhead formation behind him as he crests the corner and starts looking for work with all the big boppers. Now, it seems to be having just a few issues with the ping, but there's a... Oh, first customer. Not quite. Still waiting for the right moment. Where is it? Looking, searching, desperately wanting more from life. <laughs> 
and he really is doing well here. A couple of good bounces. He's hull down. Anyone that comes up is going to have to deal with him. And look how isolated he is. All the rest of his team is down on the TD Avenue overlooking that cap circle. And yet, he's not overexposed. He's taken a very small amount of damage. He is asking for help. Like, it's not like he wants to be here on his pap alone. This, uh, that's a big mistake from that T-54E1. He's just traded nearly his entire hit point pool for another shot in the clip on the IS-7 and has left himself as a one-shot. Very, very tough gig. But you can also see behind the IS-7, there is, in fact, a TD looking very nasty. The 215B183 is filthy at the team. Again, I mean, I don't know why. Because <laughs> I just... Anyway, I know why he's filthy, but I just don't know why. Why are people so angry these days in Blitz? Like, he's not really doing anything that's out of the ordinary here. I, I streamed on Blitz uh, yesterday, and everyone went mental as soon as I logged in. Uh, I don't know. Anyway, no face cam today, by the way, because it's like midnight, and we're about to go to Singapore tomorrow with a wife, so... My head does not deserve to be anywhere but on radio. Uh, this mouse is doing great work, as mouses do. They are so good in this situation. Even when they're not angled properly, they still get these bounces. And the gun on the I-7, if you've never driven an I-7, it's a brilliant tank. But it is not a gun to rely on. It is absolutely not a gun to rely on. And firing APCR at a mouse when it's properly angled can feel absolutely devastating. You need that heat for those cheeks. Big, sweaty wads of heat pen. And a lot more uh, dispersion help. And that mouse has only just really driven hard into the edge of the building there, which is where the rubber really meets the road for the mouse. It's, that's the angle he wants. And he's starting to pull back because he knows the IS-7 can get up next to him, and that's when life can become very, very difficult. 3,121 damage so far. But have a look at the bounced. 3,180 bounce. And that's because our Amigo here has been putting the tank in a good position. The gun on the I-7 is, uh, is quite a lot to blame. And I like the fact he's not repairing that track there either because he knows he's only got the one kit left. Uh, that's really savvy, old school play. Not like Bushka. Bushka would be repairing that in a trice, and he's trapped the mouse against the wall. Uh, great play, really lovely play, and he moves on up to 4,439 damages. Two tanks left on the greens, three tanks left on the reds. And coming out sideways is not going to endear you to the rest of your team. Look at the bounces from the IS-7. That bush and the grass are probably playing a little bit of a part in that, but also the fact that all the tanks that are left are... Uh, there you go, the 54E1. There is only one tier 10 tank in there. Onwards and upwards to nearly 5k damage and nearly 5k bounced. I mean, here comes another Coupe de Gras. Three kills and deserves so, so much more. Has been the absolute rock of this team. I mean, he really has driven this to the edge of reason. Right on front, on top of the cap circle... Did not take a backward step, spam the help button, but did not uh, run off. And he's now dealing with what is an absolutely terribly tough opponent, the IS-4. Where the IS-7 actually has a little bit of an edge here with the IS-4 is that he can, he can face hug uh, and still get shots into the area just above the IS-4's. Uh, just below the Ice Force gun mantle. And you can see there he's doing a very good job here. And as he's into that, the Object 704 has moved in as well. And the face hug has paid off Deluxe. So 704 is desperate to get this kill. I mean, really? 704? <laughs> he, he's, got the, he's got the big gun. He's firing AP with the big gun. <laughs> it's just... That's the stock gun on the 704, man. Um, so he's struggling. He's struggling mightily with his eyes for, and does not deserve the uh, ire of his teammates. Great face hug again. Does he go to the HE? Does he what? No need. Got APCR. Got skills. Can play. Thank you very much. 
the 935 group, really, really good game. Um, so impressive on so many levels. And I really like these two games because they just put so much in the nuances of Blitz. Like, there's so many little hard contact moments. Great games, boys or girls. Thanks for watching. Uh, you know, so like 5K bounce, 7K damage. What else can you ask for? Brilliant games. Until next time, remember to subscribe, like the videos, uh, join the Discord server. There's a KV2 competition going on there. Uh, at the moment, actually, I think by the time you watch this, it may be over, but we'll see. Uh, and as always, just look after yourselves. You're great people and stay safe on the battlefield. Bye for now.